Congratulations on getting a hold of a copy of Zebra Presenter, the free open source presentation suite from Clever Zebra. Zebra Presenter makes presenting in Second Life simple, but there are still a few things you need to know. This video will walk you through the basics. Let's start right from the beginning. Go to your inventory and double click the folder marked Zebra Presenter. Drag one of the screens out and place it where you want your presentations to be shown. Drag the laptop out and place that where you intend to speak from. Before we look at the controls, let's just make sure that we have the correct permissions. Zebra Presenter will not work as expected unless you follow these steps carefully. The laptop must be owned by the landowner. If the land is owned by a group, it must be deeded to that group. Done that? Good. Let's take a look at the controls. When you place the laptop, the first thing you'll see on the screen are two slides, a large one and a small one. The large slide is the one currently displaying on the presentation screen. The small one is the one that will appear when you click the next button. You can walk through your slides using the next and previous buttons and return home using the home button right up there next to the power switch. When you power down the laptop, the logo texture will appear on the main screen. Top center of the laptop's keyboard is the video control. This button switches between the laptop's slideshow and streaming video modes. Make sure that the laptop is owned by the landowner or deeded to the LANs group and that you've correctly set the parcel's media URL in the About LAN settings. Just to the right of the video control is the channel switcher. This button cycles through channels 1 to 4, allowing advanced setup of the Zebra Presenter for multiple presentation screens or separate slideshows. Make sure that the channel button on the back of the main presentation screen matches the channel you've chosen on the laptop and have fun setting up multiple screens on the same channel. Now we've played with all the buttons, let's load some slides. Once you've created your slides, save them as JPEG files by choosing File, Save As, and selecting JPEG from the drop-down. PowerPoint will automatically create a new folder for your images. All you have to do now is upload them to Second Life. Log into Second Life, then choose File, Bulk Upload, select all of the images you want to upload, then click Open. After a few minutes your slides will be in your Second Life inventory and can be loaded into the laptop. Before you load your slides into the laptop, you'll need to remove the sample slides. Right-click the laptop and choose Edit. Then from the Contents tab, select all of the textures and only the textures, except the one named Logo, and hit Delete. With the Edit window still open, locate your newly uploaded textures in Inventory. They should already be named alphabetically as Slide 1, Slide 2, Slide 3, etc. Zebra Presenter will display them in that order when it comes time for your presentation. Select all of the slides and drag them across to the Contents tab of the Edit window, and then close that window. There, you're all set. All that remains now is for you to make your presentation with confidence. We'd like to thank our friends at i3D for building Zebra Presenter, and Joyceco for designing it. Remember that Zebra Presenter is free under the terms of the General Public License, which means you're very welcome to share it amongst your friends. Thank you.